I'd always been, uh, I guess, like a, a vintage amp guy, uh, one channel kind of thing. And um, when I found out I was going to be uh, touring with Stone Sour, I um, I knew that that wasn't really going to going to cut it in terms of uh, versatility and all the different things that go on in the music of that band. Um, my friend Frankie had an Engel Powerball uh, too. And um, he loaned it to me because I was kind of looking for uh, looking for something that that I would like, and um, and the amp just completely blew me away. So I immediately, uh, you know, sent a uh, sent an email to uh, to Michael Berger um, over at Engel and uh, set up a time and came down and tried out a bunch of amps. And uh, I mean, this one is the one that really just. I mean, they were all great, but this one just. It was instantaneous, like as soon as I plugged into it, as soon as I turned it on, I hit one chord on it, I knew that that was the amp I was going to use. Um, it's got a great clean channel, um, great overdrive channel that's really close to uh, to what I was using before, it's just a, a better example of it. Um, it's just everything about it, uh, you know, I, I really don't see myself ever needing to use another amp, but this one, I mean, it's just, it's kind of perfect. This track sort of came together. I had I had these riffs um, kind of kicking around for a while, and um, and uh, when the opportunity came up to, to do this video, um, I decided it'd be the perfect time to, to use it. So um, basically, uh, I called up Roy uh, Mayorga, who's uh, also the drummer in Stone Sour, and uh, and the bass player on the track is Chris Aiken, who uh, plays in the a pretty well-known punk band called Strung Out, and uh, he was also, he played on some tracks on Marty Friedman's uh, newest album, and I, I just knew that both of those guys would be awesome for, for this. And um, yeah, it just came together really fast. We went, went over to Roy's, uh, sort of banged it out in, in a couple of hours, and um, here we are. <laughs>